Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I explain how to save remote desktop credentials to RDP file to make it easy to open a remote desktop session directly and quickly. Of course, the built-in remote desktop tool. You know how easy it is to use. All you have to do is open the remote desktop tool, choose the remote system from the drop-down menu, then click connect and enter the password. You may need the IP address, computer name and credentials for each. In the video, I'll simplify the process even further by saving the connection settings and credentials to a special RDP file. After saving, all you have to do is double-click the RDP file to automatically launch the remote desktop tool and log into the remote system without entering any credentials. This method makes it easy to reconnect to remote systems without having to enter the username and password each time. Okay, to get into the details, type remote desktop connection in the search bar on the taskbar and open the tool. In Windows Server 2025, everything works the same way as in the older guides, but you might notice more stringent default security settings. Other than that, the steps are almost identical. Enter the name of the remote computer or the IP address of the device you want to connect to. Don't click the connect button. Instead, click show options at the bottom. This will reveal more settings, including username and credentials options. And in the username field, type the account you'll use to log in. This saves you the hassle of typing it again later. And check the allow me to save credentials box this option ensures you don't have to type your password every time. The next step is to save the connection file. Click the Save As button. Select the location where you want to save the file, likely on your desktop, and give it an appropriate name. Click Save, and this will create an RDP file on your desktop. After the file is created, click the Connect button. Select the Don't Ask Me Again for connections to this computer option, and click Connect. The first time you'll be asked for your password, enter it and select the Remember Me option. So you won't be asked for your password again the next time you connect. When connecting, also select the Don't Ask Me Again for connections to this computer option and click Yes. The connection to the remote computer will begin immediately. From now on, double-click the RDP file to start a remote session immediately with your saved credentials without entering any username or password. Double-clicking the file will immediately open the remote computer. This is useful for IT administrators, especially when managing multiple servers. It will also help you avoid simple mistakes like mistyping an IP address or username. This will make connecting to a remote computer easier and faster, saving you a lot of time, especially if you manage multiple systems. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.